Uh, hello, this is Lucas and in this video I'm going to be going over 3D shapes in Java FX. So I have this, uh, so this is the main uh, application of our uh, Java FX project and all that we're doing here is I have a anchor plane which is the root uh, layout of our scene uh, that we pass into here um, and then all we're doing is we are calling this load method here and this is where we are going to be running all of our code. So at the moment it just looks like this. We have just a box, we just have a GUI with a lime, lime green uh, background. So we can guess that we're adding our uh, 3D shape. The 3D shape that I'm, gonna, that I'm going to be using in this video example is a box. There are two other ones. There's the cylinder and then there's the sphere. But I'm only going to go over uh, just one of them. So. Let's create our first 3D shape, which is a box. So we can give a, so we'll have to write box, then we can give any name. So I'm gonna do box, and then we equal this to a new box. So just like that, we have created our uh, first 3D shape. Now we have to uh, set a few properties to this box. Uh, so the first one will be the height. So we'll do a set height. We can give a height of, let's say, just 100. Uh, then we also, obviously, we don't need the width. We can also do 100. And then finally, because this is a 3D shape, we need to set the depth. And the depth will do 200, okay? So these are just the parameters um, of the of the box. So it's going to be 100 by 100 by 200, okay? Uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to set where this box is going to be placed uh, within our uh, scene. So we'll do uh, box.setTranslateX. Uh, which will give a value of 200 and I'm going to copy this paste it twice because all we need to change is from x to y and then from x to z and we, we can give a few values I'm going to leave this as 200 it's fine for now uh, but yeah just like that we have created our uh, first 3d shape next thing that we need to do is we need to create a camera now this camera is gonna the box is going to be displayed where the camera is so um i'll go over in a few minutes but let's just create a new camera for now so we need to do a perspective camera and give it any name camera and then we do equal that to a new uh, perspective camera okay now once that is ready we also need to do the same thing as up here so i'm just going to copy this and instead of box, obviously we have camera. So this is just where the camera is going to be placed uh, within our screen. So I'm just going to let's change this around. Let's do 300, 300, and then uh, let's do this as 50. Okay. So now once we have the box, now we have the camera. I'm going to create a group. Okay. Uh, so what we can do is we can just create a group. I'm going to give it the name of a group. I'm going to equal this to a new group uh, like this. Now in this group, we're just going to place our box, so we're going to do a group dot get children dot add, and we are going to add in the box that we have created. Okay, just like that. All right, the next thing, we need to set this camera uh, to our scene. So I have the scene uh, created here. So in order for us to use the scene here, I'm going to have to pass this as a parameter into our method here and then uh, we are going to get that uh, scene that we pass in and we are going to set the uh, the scene dot set camera and all we're doing is we are setting this camera that we have created uh, to the scene so that's most of the work done the very last step that we need is our uh, main layout which for me is an anchor pane uh, it's named root because it's a global uh, I don't need to pass it in as a uh, as a parameter okay, so we can do this we can do root dot get children dot add and all this is gonna do is we're gonna add in our group that we have created which contains uh, our box and just like that we have created uh, a box but obviously it's you can see at the top left so we'll need to change a few parameters to this because at the moment we can't even see it so let's change a few uh, a few values we'll keep these as 100 make this bigger make 200 200 that's because the camera is off actually that's the reason 
So if we run this now, there you go. We can you can see our box right here, and you 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 can see even if we move it, uh, the box also moves, which is pretty cool. It all depends where the camera is. So at the moment, the camera is like somewhere up here. That's why we we can see the sides. If the camera was on the other side, we'll be able to see the other sides. Okay. And yeah, you can see the depth because we have set the depth as 400. So that's why the depth is way longer. Uh, we can change this. So we can, uh, let's say we want it to be just a perfect cube. We can just set the depth as 100. So at the moment, our camera is somewhere around here. All right, I'm not exactly too sure, but the camera is somewhere here. So but whenever we move it, the camera just starts moving a little bit, so that's why we can see the the, the side a bit bigger. Same thing if we uh, go down, you can see this, the bottom of it a bit more. Okay. So it all depends where the camera is, that's how the box will be displayed. So, uh, yeah, obviously the X, uh, so the camera will be uh, 100X this way, uh, it'll be 100Y this way, and then it'll be 50Z. Okay. So, yeah, that's basically it about uh, 3D shapes. Uh, hope this video helped. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.